Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale, this channel is Flippin' Fiasco, and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. Today, I am heading to King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, where there is a huge mall. I think it's second only to Mall of America, maybe? It's ginormous. Has every store known to man, including luxury brands like Longchamp, Tiffany, Hermé, and what else do I have? I think that's it. So I've gotten all of these items through DIY, thread up DIY designer boxes and jewelry boxes that the Tiffany bracelets, I have two of them that I just got that I'm gonna try to authenticate. The Hermé bracelet needs repair and hopefully authentication. And then I have the long chomp bags which need the corners repaired. And I think that they will do that in the store. I feel like I have something else. Oh, the Cartier, which I am 99% sure is a fake, but they even have that store there. So why not? As long as I'm making the trip, it's about, it's about an hour away. So I figure as long as I'm going there, I might as well kill all my hopes and dreams of having a real Cartier <laughs> at the same time. If nothing else, I am fairly certain that it's precious metal. So I would at least have that going for me, but Let's get started on the road and I'll let you know how it goes. There's Tiffany and Cartier, and I believe Hermé is just across the way from Louis. Yep, perfect. All right, so first try at Tiffany. They took my bracelets to clean them. They said it takes 48 hours, and since I'm kind of a drive, I'm just gonna have them delivered. So it was a $20 delivery fee, but no other charge. And I guess we'll see what they have to say. Okay, so the Hermé, not real, pretty embarrassing. bracelet into their store so it went better at long chomp they are sending the two bags out for repairs they will repair the corners free of charge the smaller bag has another hole in the bottom which she said they will not repair because there's no seam there for them to incorporate the repair to but they will do the corners they said it they should be in in four to six weeks they will call me when they're ready and so at least the long chomps are real. So after the embarrassing experience at Hermé, I decided to take another good look at the Cartier. And I see that there are unsoldered jump rings on it. So I can't even, <laughs> I could not even bring myself to embarrass myself in the store. So I think what I'm gonna do is head back home and then I do have a local jeweler that I'm gonna stop in there sometime and ask them if they can at least tell me for sure like what the quality of the metals are because I don't know I don't know that um I'm comfortable selling it but maybe I'll just throw it in my scrap pile and send it away for scrap at some point so that's the results of my little trip to King of Prussia 
I'm, su I'm super embarrassed. Like, I don't know if my, if my cheeks are red. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed from that Hermé experience. Um, those stores are like too bougie for me. Like they have the, um, you know, like the, the lines that you can't enter until somebody like allows you in and then they all have accents and <laughs> I feel like white trash walking in there. 